Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn about object representations in Python. So let's get started. So let's consider an example that I just define my list equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? And when I just try to print my list, then what I get is a kind of a representation of my list object, right? So this is a very specific kind of representation in which I have a square bracket, then I have the first element, then a comma, then a space, and then the second element and so on, right? So this is a particular kind of representation which has been defined for the list object. Also for the dictionary object, uh, let's say I define my dict a1, b2, so if I just try to see the value of my dict, I get its representation like this, right? So this is how you see that every Python object has some kind of representation. And you can get that representation using a simple function called REPR. So REPR is an inbuilt function in which you have to just pass the um, any kind of Python object and you get its string representation like this, right? So this is the REPR function. Now. Now let's try to see how we can define the representation for our own classes. For example, let me define a class called car in which I have name. Um, let me make it initialization function in it self name and let's say mileage. Okay, so these two values will be provided to me when any car object is made. So I will define self dot name equal to uh, name self dot mileage equal to mileage. That's it. So let me define this class function. And now let me define a car object by passing something like Tesla 270. Okay. So now this is my car object. And now let me just try to see the representation of my class object. Hmm. It quite it's quite ugly right so this is the default representation of my um, class object the car object here right but I can override it by defining um, another function called REPR here so this is a special function for the classes so any function will this name will provide the representation of that class so now I just pass self and now here let me try to return the representation that I want to show. So I will just do something like name, comma, mileage, like this, and dot format, um, self dot name, self dot mileage, like this, right? So let's do it. And now let me define it again. And look at that. So this is the representation of my car object. So whenever I try to see the value of C, I will get this kind of representation name Tesla mileage 270. Okay, so even if I just try to do print C, I will get that representation, right? So this is how you can explicitly define the representation of your class object in Python. And other than that, you have this representation function to get the representation of any kind of Python object. Okay, so that's it from this video. If you still have any doubts, you can post them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.